it's Allison. I hope you're having a super happy day so far. So today I wanted to share a few tips and tricks that I have for using an Insta story. If you don't know, Instagram actually released these instant stories that appear on the top of your timeline and it's very similar to Snapchat except there are some different capabilities of it and I've actually found myself using it way more than Snapchat. I don't even have that app on my phone anymore. I'm sorry Snapchat, but it's the truth. And I've just had so much fun creating these fun Insta stories that hopefully you have enjoyed if you follow me on Instagram and hopefully you can recreate yourself. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. So first things first, you're going to want to open Instagram. And if you're not taking a photo right then, you're going to want to swipe up to get a photo from your camera roll. And then I just take a couple seconds to kind of check out all the stickers and geotags and hashtags to see what I want to play with with this photo. I decided on this want sticker because I mean, who doesn't want to be on the teacups in fantasy land right now? And then a fun trick is to actually fill in the clear part of the sticker so that it appears to be pink. Another one of my favorite tips is to hold down one of the colors with the pen tool and you'll actually notice that once you hold it down for a couple seconds, it actually displays some other colors that you can choose from. And now a fun video tip I have is to actually hold down the video and start recording and then if you slightly bring your finger upward, it'll zoom in super quickly. And you can also zoom out quickly by just swiping down. Another little Insta story design tip I love to do is layering text. So all you have to do for this is pick a word or phrase you want to type and type it. And then you're going to make another text by just hitting your screen and then typing the exact same word or phrase and maybe choose a different color. And then you just kind of try to align them so they kind of look 3D, super cool typography, and I love this tip. Another tip I have is to simply add some fun and bright polka dots and all you have to do with this is just take the pen tool and maybe adjust your size so that it's a little bigger so the polka dots are more pronounced and then just add little dots around your image. For this tip, let's say you have multiple videos you want to post or multiple images, you can actually head on over to the iMovie application and then make a collage of all these videos and then export it and then import it into InstaStory. And now here's just another example of one of the InstaStories that I've made. You see that it really just makes it a lot more fun when you start with a pretty image and then just add different elements to your image using all the text tools and even emojis and colors. If you really want to get creative, you can hop on over to Pinterest and maybe just search something like pink background or design or wallpaper and just find an image you like and kind of play with that image and add some encouraging words or add, you know, something you want to ask your audience or followers and yeah, just have fun with it. I mean, Pinterest is such a good place to gather inspiration. are all the tips that I have to share. If you have any specific tips yourself, I would love to hear them, so make sure you leave them in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, I would absolutely love if you subscribed. I'm trying to make as many videos as possible for you guys and have had 
so much fun with the YouTube community. So thank you again for all your love and support. It means the world to me. Have a beautiful day.